Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to do a two-tone paint job. So with this bumper, this is a GT500 Shelby bumper and this center section gets black and the rest of the bumper has little accents. But for this bumper, I'm just doing this intersection. So the tools and supplies you need to do this, quarter inch, 3M masking tape, half inch, 3M masking tape, one and a half inch, 3M masking tape, masking paper, razor blade, and make sure you wear gloves. So when you're doing this task, you're gonna do it after you've painted the majority of the bumper. So you always do your light colors first and then your dark colors last. If you do your dark color first and try to put your light color over it with your paint gun, you, it's never gonna cover. You're always gonna have blotchy spots or dark spots, it's gonna look weird. So rule of thumb, when you're doing a two-tone, always do light color first and then dark color. All right, so as you guys can see in this detail, I used a quarter inch tape to get nice and tight to the edge all the way around. Then it came back with the half inch tape, covered all my exposed paint that I don't want to be painted black. And then I came back in with masking paper, paper and uh, one and a half inch tape just to mask it off. Always double check, push this in. This is where you're gonna use the razor blade. You're gonna use the razor blade in these creases to force this tape into the crease. You don't want it on the part you're painting. You want it just covering the uh, lighter color that you're trying to keep from being painted over. So super easy, just take your time, use gloves so you don't get uh, greasy fingerprints all over this and you'll have fish eyes later on when you paint it. So quarter inch, you might have to use a piece, a piece, a piece, a piece, a piece, because that's what I had to do to get around this curvature and go underneath. And come back with a little bit bigger masking and then get your paper on there and use your bigger tape to cover a larger area. All right, so after you sprayed your black, it's time to demask. Be very careful in these seams uh, when you're demasking. You don't want to peel up any of the paint. Uh, everything should be good. So if it's been more than eight hours, you want to scuff all the base coat with about a thousand grit just to kind of reactivate it to get it ready for the clear. And always, always, always use a tack rag. You can't tack rag enough. So as you're sanding, so as you're sanding, tack rag. So if you open your tack rag up, as you wipe, flip it, wipe. So you're constantly picking up, so you're not using the same surface. And then open it if you can, it gets a little hard, tack rag. Tack rag. I always tack rag about six or seven times before I base coat and before I clear coat. The more prep work you do, the better your product is, the less work you do on the back end as you're reassembling this, polishing, and what have you. So up next, we're gonna do the clear coat. 